Welcome to Cake Members video tutorial. Today I will be giving you a quick overview of the many features of the new Class Kiosk web app. Class Kiosk is an innovative classroom management application that is compatible across all platforms. Unlike the native Class Kiosk iPad app, the web app is not limited to just the iPad. It can be accessed by any device that has an internet port on that device. To make more sense of this, the web app can be accessed on your iPad, iPhone, iPod, Android phone, Android tablet, Kindle, and other e-reader devices, as well as the standard PC, Surface Pro, and even the Mac. All you need is a device that is able to access a website, and you are set to go. Class Kiosk will assist the teachers with their daily tasks, help file reports, and even keep track of the children's log. You can truly have real-time updates with the Class Kiosk being used to manage all of your classrooms. To grant yourself or other teachers access to the Class Kiosk, you will have to watch our Grant Access to Kiosk video tutorial. The Class Kiosk will also require you to already link up your facility and have children enrolled in the facility. Pretty much you won't be able to post updates on a child that's not signed into your facility. Let's start off by learning how to access the Class Kiosk web app. There are several ways to access the Class Kiosk. You can start by using the direct link. CakeChildCare.com forward slash kiosk forward slash class. This will also be in the description below. The second way is to go under the members tab in Cake Desktop and click on Class Kiosk Web Based. Another way to access the Class Kiosk Web App is also through your Cake Manager tab under the Downloads tab. Also, when you initially signed up your Cake membership, you will receive an email that will also have the link to the Class Kiosk Web App. Now, let's get started. As you can see, we are on a Mac. Let's just open up Safari, type in the link cakechildcare.com forward slash kiosk forward slash forward slash class and then click enter. As you can see here, this is the primary login screen where you will have to enter in your school ID or cake ID and password. If you would like to save this login information, click remember me and your login information will be saved. Here is the pin number login screen where your teachers will input their pin code to access the class kiosk. After entering in a four digit code, click enter. As you can see, the classes will be shown here and if you would want to view all of the students, click all. Here at the top is our navigation bar where you can choose which class you would like to progress with and what activity you would like to be updating on. The primary difference between selecting all from here and the one shown here is that by selecting the drop down, you'll be updating every child that is selected in that class. Whereas if you choose the all option here, you can proceed to specify which child you would want to update on. Let's go ahead and choose all from here for now, and then specify which child we would like to post an update on. As you can see, these are the children that are currently signed in right now at my facility. Let's go ahead and pick several children to do an update on. Next, we will click on the activity drop down next to the class here, and a total of 12 options will appear. We will go through each one. So let's start with the activity and click go. You can quickly tap what the child is doing, whether it be playing alone, crawling, or playing with others. Then add a comment if necessary. Next, click update, and a confirmation pop-up will appear, and then click OK. To increase this process, you can choose an activity, click apply to all, then update, and there you go. Now let's go ahead and lock back in and choose all under the class drop down and the next item on the list, which is administrative. Simply select the medication amount that was given and then select the quantity, which can be in teaspoon, tablespoons, milliliters, ounces, units, drops, or tablets. Also, by clicking this half amount, you can add 0.5 to the amount. And lastly, you can always add the medication name in the description here. Next, let's take a look at body checks. Body checks are great for initial assessments of a child to make sure no injuries are unaccounted for. If an injury is assessed, click Fail and then Update. Then pinpoint on the child where the location is and what type it is, and the severity of it. You can then enter in additional notes and details for documentation purposes. If you click on the upload button here, you can choose a picture to upload to the profile. This will also change based on what type of device you are on. 
So for example, you can take a picture of an incident or an injury with your iPhone and just upload it to your gallery. Next is the bottles fed. Knowing when a bottle is fed to an infant is crucial and the quantity. Diapers are very important. You can record what was assessed after changing a diaper like the type, quantity, consistency, and color. Food and nutrition covers what the child ate at that particular time and how much of it. Behavior is very straightforward and is able to show the parents what the child's mood is at that particular time. Health covers many of the symptoms of a disease process or something irregular to a child's health. These could be early indicators and even a preventative measure for illnesses. The incident is very similar to the body check and submit the injury description. Next is the messages and notes. If for example you need more diapers from a parent, just click on diapers and a generated message will appear. This message is intended for the parents of the child and will be sent to their email and web portal. As you can see, you can also add additional items to the list by clicking on them and it will automatically add to the list. Editing of the message is also possible by clicking on the message itself. Once you're done, click update and we are good to go. Potty covers all of the bowel movements a child would have and if they voided or not. You can select the option quickly after your assessment. Lastly, under sleep, you can record how much a child has slept by picking the time they began sleeping followed by the time they woke up. The duration of our slep will be shown here. As you have seen, submitting daily updates is painfully easy and seamless. Not only will you have great documentation of your activities with the children, you will not sacrifice any time spent away from them filling out an actual daily report. Daily reports should be fast and easy, and that is exactly what Class Kiosk is, and I am sure your parents will love it. To see how you and your parents can see these submissions, please watch our web portal video tutorial. As you may have noticed, when you start using the Class Kiosk web app, is that it logs you out to the pin page whenever you complete an update. This may seem frustrating, but there is a purpose to this. Every time a daily report is updated, there is a signature pin that goes with it. This way you and the parents can tell who updated their child's information. With this in mind, if a staff member just posted an update and forgot to log out, someone else can come in and start posting updates under the staff's pin number, and this of course poses a security hazard. This concludes our overview of the new Class Kiosk web app. We would like to thank you for watching this video tutorial and we hope this video helps. Cake, it's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.